This chicken sheet pan dinner is an all-in-one meal with succulent chicken thighs nestled around vibrant vegetables. And after a quick pop in the oven, the veggies become juicy, sweet, and caramelized, and the chicken is baked golden to perfection. But the best part is that everything is doused in the best Greek flavors, and I'm talking oregano, thyme, lemon, and garlic. Sheet pan recipes are perfect for easy weeknight dinners because they're a snap to make and the cleanup is minimal. And when they're as flavorful as this one is, it's sure to become part of your regular dinner rotation. So let me show you how to make it. To get started, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius, and then you'll quickly whip up a Greek-inspired marinade for the chicken and veggies. Add half a cup of olive oil to a small mixing bowl along with the juice from one lemon, and that's about three tablespoons of juice. And definitely use fresh lemon juice and not jarred lemon juice here for the best flavor. To that, add four minced garlic cloves, and my garlic cloves are extra large today, so it's probably closer to five, but you know my motto, the more garlic, the better. And in terms of spices, add two teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, which helps emulsify the marinade a little bit and just adds an extra punch of flavor. Then give that a stir. For the chicken in this recipe, I'm using six bone-in chicken thighs because they'll cook at the same rate as the veggies. And that's always a key consideration when it comes to sheet pan dinners, making sure everything is done at the same time because you don't want dry and overcooked chicken and undercooked veggies or vice versa. Add about two thirds of the marinade on top of the chicken and I like to scoop this on top because the garlic tends to sink to the bottom and if you were to just pour it out, you may not get all that garlic goodness on the chicken. Then use your hands to dig in and mix it all together, making sure that the chicken is well coated. I usually marinate the chicken for about 15 to 20 minutes and just keep it off to the side while I'm preparing the vegetables, but you can always marinate it longer in the fridge if you'd like. For the veggies, dice up one yellow bell pepper. You can use any color bell pepper, I just chose yellow as it helps to provide a rainbow of color on the sheet pan. And you'll want to cut it into bite-sized chunks about an inch or so wide. Next, slice half of a large red onion into wedges. Usually my onions are monstrously big, but this onion was a bit on the smaller side, so I may actually add a little bit more than half today, especially as I do love roasted onions once they've started to caramelize. And then the last veggie to prep is one large zucchini. Just cut the ends off, then slice it into fairly thick pieces, somewhere between a quarter and a half an inch thick, and then slice those pieces in half. I'll usually just stack a few of them on top of each other and slice down for that half moon shape. Add all of the veggies to a sheet pan and just scatter them across. They don't need to be perfectly laid out at this stage as you're gonna mix them with the leftover marinade here in a second. But before we add the marinade, there's one more veggie to add and that's one pint of cherry tomatoes. So just lay those on top, then drizzle the remaining one third of the marinade and use your hands to mix everything together. And do try to make sure that each veggie is coated in a little bit of oil and flavoring. Once the veggies are all coated, nestle the chicken thighs on top. I clear a little bit of space with the veggies, but you can certainly place the chicken on top of the vegetables too. The chicken doesn't have to be flat on the sheet pan. In fact, my chicken is usually on top of a few pieces of zucchini or bell pepper, and that's totally fine. Once everything is all sorted on the sheet pan, bake the chicken for 30 minutes. It won't be done at this stage, but there's a few more things you're going to add to the sheet pan, and you can prepare those while the chicken is baking. As you can see in the glass bowls in the background, I've already prepared a couple of those ingredients, including measuring out half a cup of pitted Kalamata olives and a quarter cup of feta cheese. And then I'll quickly chop up about two tablespoons of fresh parsley. At the 30 minute mark, the chicken should have a light golden color, though it's not fully cooked yet, and the cherry tomatoes should have started to blister. Sprinkle the Kalamata olives and feta all around the sheet pan. Both of these items don't really need to cook, they just need to be warmed up and softened. 
So once those are scattered on top, push the sheet pan back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes or so until the vegetables are juicy and caramelized and the chicken is golden and cooked through. Remove the sheet pan from the oven and then the last thing to do is sprinkle the chopped parsley on top. And that, my friends, is seriously how easy it is to make a Greek sheet pan chicken dinner. I've got a lot of beauty shots here because I think this is just a stunner of a sheet pan meal with all of those vibrant vegetables. But what I love most about this meal is that the blistered tomatoes and all of their juices soak into the zucchini, the red onions become super sweet and caramelized, and the chicken is just incredibly juicy and flavorful with all that garlic and lemon. The whole thing is so darn good. This is a light and fresh meal, perfect for summer when tomatoes and zucchini are in their prime. And to serve it up, I just add a portion of the vegetables to a plate and top it with a chicken thigh. But if you wanted to beef it up a little, you could serve it over a side of rice or even lentils as well. And as I mentioned on Instagram stories last week, I could seriously eat just a big bowl of these veggies. I think I may have to add them as a separate recipe to my website. Now, there's no glamorous way to eat the chicken other than to just dig in, so that's what I'm gonna do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you again in the next video.